Hello and welcome to my living room. Now this, as you can see, is my piano. Very old. This piano was made mm, towards the middle of the um, 19th century. And uh, yeah, the keys are ivory, so old style. Bit hard to play, but uh, yes, it's still an, a nice piano and it's what I've been practicing in. Because my, I don't know if you all know it, but I have um, been pl playing the piano since I was... Um, 13, 12 or 13 years old. I have now. I don't really have a lot of time. It's more of a passion. I'm not a professional pianist, but uh, um, yes, I did receive um, formal training at the music conservatory. I did study for almost eight years, eight to nine years, and then I had to leave it aside, unfortunately, because of my job. And I don't have a lot of time. But whenever I do have a little bit of time, I'm a little rusty, but I still play and I enjoy doing it. Now this piano is a bit of a, you know, there are keys that don't work, others to do, it's not completely out of tune but kind of a little bit and also um, the pedals almost don't work. Um, so I'm not going to be able to play very well in this piano but still it's an instrument and I think that there is always a way to have the instrument speak. Today this is just the audio of the camera, it's just a starting thing to share this thing with you, to share this moment, this morning with you. Okay, so let's start. Now, let's begin with Bach. Now, Bach, German also, an organist actually, because there was no piano at the time, but so all the things that we play on the piano are actually transcriptions um, from either um, harpsichord or, um, or organ. Now, I like Bach a lot, and it's, it's very rewarding to play on the fingers, because you feel it. Bach has emotional power and strong feelings that need to be expressed in a different way from a romantic like Beethoven. Beethoven, ex his passion explodes on the piano, but for Bach, this music needs to be well organized and orchestrated between two equal protagonists, which are your hands. Um, I'll show you. So as you can see, both hands are protagonists of what we are trying to express, what he wanted to express. Now this song here is very technical, but a song, for example, what song, I shouldn't say song, a, um, a piece, a musical piece, for example, the uh, Toccata e Fuga, this one here, very famous. to focus a little bit on the uh, fuga, the, the final part, um, so the end of the toccata and the beginning of the fuga, because there we see how the passion and also a nostalgic atmosphere Bach creates can come through even the mechanical technique that he was using. So,
today I'm only playing little bits of pieces, but if you do like my piano play, then I will play the full pieces for you. Today we're just discussing about how to express these um, authors, in my humble point of view. Moving to classicism, Mozart. Mozart is very different from Bach. Mozart can be very powerful in his emotions as well, but they are they're very different and you always have to have this kind of feeling of entertainment as, as you play. It needs to feel like you are playing, meaning as if it was a game, rather than a piece of music. That's my personal exemplification, my personal idea. So for example, let's have a look. smile, show what the way classical time was at, at the time with the first uh, piano songs and piano sonatas. Then we move to Romanticism, to Beethoven. Beethoven in ex is an explosion of passion. You need to bring your interpretation to the point where you, can, you, you almost can't control the feelings and emotions of this man crying from the past. For example, the Tempest. I personally like to play this one very speedy. There are people who prefer to play slowly. It depends, um, but that's just your own uh, way of interpretation. That as a pianist, you should feel the piece, as, depending on how you you feel it should be interpreted. It's up to you. Of course, of course, there are pieces, for example, for Elise, for Elisa, that is slower and more, you know, less like a tempest, as that one there, but still it's romanticism, so it's very different from slow pieces by Bach or, or, or Mozart, let's see.
Chopin. Chopin used to be my favorite. It still is sometimes. It depends on my on how I feel. Um, I also my favorite I think is Rachmaninoff. But I really really like Chopin as well. It was my first love in classical music. I love Chopin because you have you have both very tranquil and peaceful music, very romantic, and then very powerful and intrigued music at the same time. Very technical, virtuoso. So you need to balance well your forte, your piano. Um, and also, one thing I like to do, for example in no nocturnes, is the idea of pausing a little and waiting. So you're not following the exact pattern, you know, mathematical um, division of tempo, uh, like you would in, 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 for example, classical music such as Mozart and Bach. You need to take your time and express your feelings. For example, like, excuse me, the pedal doesn't work much, so this piece will not sound very, 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 very good. But let's try. Like when you're trying to speak, it's not definite. It's it's more of a it's something you wanted to say but you can't fully say because of emotions. I, my, my suggestion is when you play a piece like this, where the left hand is just very 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 piano and the right hand needs to be stronger, and the protagonist, the melody, the harmonia. I would say the harmony. I would say think of something in your life. Some, a person you love, and try to speak to her, not with your voice, but with your music, with your hands. Now Chopin is very interesting to study because he doesn't only has, have this side, he also has a very strong and majestic side. Uh, for example in Fantasy and Pontu, which I already have in a, a, a video on, on the channel about this, but just, you know, very, very quick, very technical. and very, very strong. Another, if you want to listen to the full song, you can find it in the same playlist. I have played that one for you. A very similar thing happens to um, Beethoven, although in another way, because they're two very different romantics. 
um, in pieces such as, for example, Moonlight Sonata, which the beginning is very, so it's the opposite way. The beginning is very slow, you know, right? Almost dreamy. This one finishes, he explodes, and this will happen. This is what happens. then I hope you enjoyed this video if you did and you want to hear the full songs and you want me to um, record them uh, for you and make actually videos musical videos every once in a while uh, this please let me know thumb up and uh, and comment in the in, in comment below uh, if I have enough positive um, comments and and likes in this video then I will uh, start publishing um, piano videos because I just want to make sure since the channel is, is pretty much for your entertainment. I just want to make sure that you like uh, the videos and the content that I make. And this is kind of a way for you to vote uh, this this idea. And if I will receive enough likes and comments in this video, then I will actually go to my friend, bring my professional microphone and play the full pieces in a grand piano. So just let me know. And thank you very much for watching. Remember, the Metatron has spread its wings.